All right, this is Master Geo at, at Exotic Atlantic City with the gorgeous Raven Rocket. How are you doing, Raven? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Perfect. So, what made you decide to get into the biz? Um, kind of a long story. It kind of happened on accident, but um, I don't know. My whole life, I've kind of been a really sexual person. Uh, when I was younger, my friends always thought I had really big boobs and would joke that I'd end up being in porn. One day, I was doing a photo shoot for a bikini modeling thing, put it on my Model Mayhem. My old agency saw that, thought, oh, hey, this chick's look really hot. And uh, at the time, I realized, well, I can promote my music, I can do some acting stuff, and it'll be fun, and I'm so sexual, and like, it can get rid of that urge, help me get that urge out. So it's kind of like my environment. I kind of belong here. Kind of ended up being a kismet kind of thing. Did you always like girls? Yeah, um, it's kind of funny. In middle school, me and my friend Kimber were like, hey, like, why don't we see how much money we can make and say, hey, like, we'll make out, but everyone has to give us, like, a dollar or something. So we got a couple dollars together and they videotaped us making out in the courtyard. And that was the first time. And then another time, me and my friends were really, 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 really drunk and we're in the bathtub. And I was with my boyfriend and some other chick and I ended up fingering her. And I never really, you know, thought about it because I'd never done something like that before. Almost dated a friend of mine. And then when I finally got in the industry is when I started to have better experiences. Because it's kind of awkward to, like, not know how to be like, hey, so, like, can I put my mouth on your pussy? Like, do you mind if I just stick my fingers in there, you know? So it's kind of... It's kind of weird. You have to run into it in like a certain way, and so porn helped a lot, and it helped my confidence too with women. Because it's not now. I'm not as like. No, I'm still pretty awkward. Because I, I don't want to. I don't want to embarrass myself. But I think that's anybody. I think men have that problem. Women have that problem. T.S. Any any human being is just worried about doing the wrong thing in front of somebody they like. So. What surprised you most about the industry? Um. I'd say the thing that surprised me the most is, I don't know, I'm trying to think back because it's been, I've been in it so long that I'm not really surprised by anything else, but um, I guess BDSM, I didn't know exactly how, how much, what went into it, you know what I mean, the communication, like the respect, the boundaries, the, the you know, it's so, there's so much to it that it surprised me that it's actually such a, it's such a safe thing. Even though it seems all painful and dangerous, it's like, well, if you like it like that, yeah. And it's like, they know that, you know, hey, you can only hit this hard, or hey, up to this level, this is my pain tolerance, you know, this is what I like, this is what I don't like, this is what I can handle, you know? So it's one of those things where, I think that's the best part of porn. It, actually, those are the best people in porn, that they're, they're so genuine, and they're like, respectful of each other and that's a big thing in my book is if you respect me I respect you full out um, what turns you on um, it, it changes here and there I do like uh, I like being choked spanked slapped uh, I love being bitten I like my hair being pulled also I like my, my tits being sucked on I used to not like that or not like be used to that okay. so recently that's been like a really big turn on for me and booty I'm like obsessed with girls asses now and like I didn't think about it before like oh I just didn't think about it you know what I mean right. and then more and more after having Remy LaCroix's ass on my face which yeah wait till you guys see that and that's for girlfriends okay so having Remy's ass on my face that was pretty fucking great uh, Miss Danny Daniels of course was fucking amazing who else? Sin Sage has a wonderful ass. Yes, he does. My friend Raven Bay and I have never shot with each other, but damn, does that girl got a fucking ass? Oh my god! But I have I have had sex with her on St. Patrick's Day. But yeah, I I'm all about the booty. I don't know why though. Like I just it hit me one day, but it's well, I do know why. It's just so nice and firm and jiggly, and there's just so much to grab, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So that girlfriend scene, has, it's not come out yet? It has not come out yet. It was shot pretty recently, so hopefully we'll be seeing it soon because I'm excited. I look forward to it. All right. What do you like to do on your spare time? Um, I like to sit around my house, smoke a lot of weed, write music, play uh, MMORPGs with my boyfriend every now and then, um, watch him play a lot of cool games. 
take care of my pets, clean, of course. I, we like to cook dinner a lot. Um, I have a dog and a cat. My cat's name is Alice, and my dog, his name's, his name's Kilo. And I don't know, I just, I kind of do whatever comes to me. If my friends need me to shoot something for them, like that's, you know, obviously not porn related. I usually end up shooting like, like random uh, photo shoots for friends so they can use it for portfolios, kids in high school and shit like that. So, so it's I just kind of do whatever comes to me. I'm one of those go with the flow people. I don't ever make plans. Plans usually come to me. What are some of your favorite bands to listen to? It's a very long list, but uh, at the top of that list it would be Nirvana, Nine Inch Nails, Hole, The Runaways, The Beatles, The Doors, Motley Crue, Skid Row. Warrant, Winger, Paramore, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, and Tool. Anything you've been on a kick on recently? Recently? Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot all about it. I just, this is going to sound really dumb. I just discovered Queens of the Stone Age. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I fucking shit you not, I just discovered them. Like, because I've heard about them a million different times, but I was so like lazy about looking up music and blah, 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 blah. So finally I got around to downloading some of their music and listening to it. Fucking God. Oh my fucking God, this is the dopest shit I've ever listened to in my life. I have played the album, their uh, Queens of the Stone Age self-titled album. I've played that probably all the way through for about three hours. Like over and over and over. And then I was like, okay, I need to move on to another album. So then I moved on to Rated R, and then I got really obsessed with Rated R, and I'd have to say, uh, is it, is it, Jet? Autopilot. Autopilot is one of my favorite songs, and I think If Only is on, uh, is on their self-title, but If Only is one of my favorites right now, too, like, obsessively, so. But yeah, there, are, that is, right now, that's like, that's like the best thing, is listening to Queens of the Stone Age. Like, it makes me... Even when I'm, when I'm bored and kind of down, it still picks me up. And when I'm sad or mad, it still picks me up. And so it's kind of like I could be in any mood and still listen to it and feel like a badass. Well, you said your music. Could you tell me a little bit about your music? Um, right now, I'm playing bass for my friend's band. And we're working on changing the name. We're called Keo right now. But um, playing bass for them. I'm doing my own music. I recently, my ex... Uh, Painter and I and his friend August and I'm trying to remember the name of his other friend I want to say it's Thomas we're right now we're all coming together and gonna slowly start working on music because me and Painter work, worked on a song called Sweet Mary I wrote the lyrics for it he wrote the bass part and it's really fucking so dope it's just got this sick bluesy feel to it my music's very eclectic I don't know how to create like one style of sound I guess everyone says it's very rock and roll metal and grunge so I would say that's obviously what I do, but I still want to incorporate a lot of different things and I feel like in post-production after we've recorded things, it's going to sound a lot different than just me on a guitar wailing at the top of my lungs. All right. Any final words? Um, don't be a dick or get shot. <laughs> just don't be a dick. But yeah, um... Oh, man, it's awesome to finally get to be interviewed by you. And well, thank you. Thank you. And if your fans want to check you out on sites, what, what should they go? Oh, yeah. That's right. you got to plug stuff. Um, at Raven Rocket, all one word, R-O-C-K-E-T-T-E -T -T -E is how my last name is spelt. And that's for Twitter, Instagram, and my Tumblr, my Tumblr page is Galactic Showers of Serendipity. You can also find that on my Twitter. But yeah, thanks guys. You rock on. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.